The state's Democrats in Congress are trying to fend off budget cuts for community action programs. In Boston, these are mainly administered by the anti-poverty agency ABCD. The programs range from preschool to college, along with services such as family planning and emergency fuel assistance. The Obama administration reportedly wants to make funding hinge on competitive proposals, much the same as with education funding in the race to the top. But there's also concern about funding amounts. Joining us tonight are two guests from ABCD, the Executive Vice President, Sharon Scott Chandler, and the Director of the Neighborhood Service Center for Mission Hill and the Fenway, Milagros Arbaje Thomas. Thank you both very much for being with us. Uh, I want to start with Sharon Scott Chandler. Um, what about the amount of money here? Because what I picked up when the President was talking about this in uh, State of the Union was he's, he's going to cut. Yes. Well, the proposal is that, that he would cut 50% of the CSBG budget as well as use that 50% out to a competitive bid process, which would basically dismantle the current community action infrastructure that we have all across the country. So, of course, if you say infrastructure, you're talking about community sites, neighborhood sites. Uh, so w w what do you envision about, even, even if there's somebody who can, well, even if ABCD could, could, could win a competition and get a grant, uh, what would you foresee at the best? Well, I think it's, it, I say dismantle because the infrastructure of community action programs, they're community-based, they're, they're, they're based and, and by the p third of the people who are in the communities. Um, they have been running programs for more than 45 years. And so that experience, that expertise, that institutional um, programming of anti-poverty services will really go away. I mean, you can't just throw things out to competition and expect that um, another system, you know, pops up. Yeah. Lily Abarhe, Thomas, tell me about the services uh, where you are in uh, Mission Hill and the, the Fenway area. Yeah, well, we're very concerned in Mission Hill. We're serving right now 2,800 different families um, all ar around Boston, but particularly in that community. Um, we service people with fuel assistance. We do 300 applications locally in that neighborhood um, a year. We process 500 tax returns to help people get the earn earned income tax credit. We have 150 senior center members that are very actively involved in our center and come out there for all kinds of resources. We have an ESOL program teaching people English skills. We also have an immigration clinic that has served over 250 people trying to become U.S. citizens, trying to get people, you know, to be part of the American system. Um, you know, we also have the summer jobs program, which is really big in Mission Hill. We're putting kids, you know, low-income kids to work every single summer, and they depend on us in order for us to, to do this. And talk, talk about the importance of location as far as access, because <coughs> there, there's the walk-to factor in your mm -hmm. uh, at least one, maybe two uh, uh, public housing developments. So uh, right. I, I guess being able to get there without a car is important. Well, and that's the infrastructure all over the neighborhood service centers. ABCD has a neighborhood office in every single community with our low-income people. And we need to be there because we don't want people to also have a transportation barrier to have the basic needs that they have. You know, so right now people can walk up to their neighborhood. When people get invested in their neighborhood, people also care more. People take care of their community. Kids work in their own neighborhoods. So we're really affecting the entire community in a positive way. What about partnerships? Uh, part of what Community mm -hmm. Action is supposed to mean is that you, you get people to help you out uh, either with money or mm -hmm. with some kind of uh, skill contribution. Yeah, well, we're very fortunate because we are in the Fenway, in the colleges of the Fenway. We're in the Mission Hill area where all of the hospitals are. Um, so really, we have all of the hospitals in, in our area and all of the colleges also help us out. We have students that do their internships with us. They learn how to be social workers, how to be human service providers. The hospitals come to be guest speakers to our, to our members, and they talk about health. They do screenings. Um, so there's a lot of commitment in the community. You know, we're really teaching these students that are, are, are in our neighborhood to be activists in their own community and to learn about what it is to be part of a community. So we don't also want to lose that opportunity. Mr. Sharon Scott, Sharon, this is something that, that the ABCD has to do citywide, and you have some other partnerships, campaigns that you keep up every time. So uh, explain how that works. Well, I think um, not only is, is community action citywide, but there are also 24 programs across the state community action programs across the state. There are more than a thousand across the country. Um, they're all serving 20, more than 20 million people each day. And the partnerships that CSBG funding, which is the, this line item, um, leverages private dollars. I mean, we're, we're able to do so many more services with a small amount of CSBG funding that's, that's leveraged to do things like fuel assistance, Head Start, um, a private foundation, corporate partners that help us uh, continue the funding for the work. 
Uh, by the way, what's, what's the importance of having one uh, agency doing, um, let's say, Head Start as opposed to another? Uh, some people might say, well, another nonprofit could get a grant and do preschool. I mean, you're not the only people in the world who do preschool, right? Well, no. I think that, for one thing, the, the comprehensive nature of community action mm -hmm. and, and, and what it represents, and again, the 45 years of experience um, and expertise and commitment, that's why at ABCD, certainly, um, we run the Head Start program because we have a, a full comprehensive approach to early childhood development. But that, that applies to all, all kinds of programs. In other words, this is not just early education for the child, but there might be something going on for the parent. Maybe the mm -hmm. parent wants to become more financially self-sufficient or something like mm -hmm. that. Absolutely. And that's where um, the neighborhood service centers tie in. I mean, th mm -hmm. those are the services that we provide in the neighborhoods that families get to take advantage of because we're ABCD, because we're community action. Community mm -hmm. action, uh, uh, Millie, I guess some leadership element for people in the neighborhood. Explain how that figures in here. In other words, you help people become leaders and advocates. All right, well, one, another part of, our, of the ABCD infrastructure is that one third of the board comes from the community. So in one aspect too, um, half of my board is also from the community. So people from the community help us to develop programs, we listen to their needs, we actually are always addressing what the community is in need of. You know, the same ways um, our, our, we're, up, we're developing our staff to learn really what it means to work in social services. Right now, for an example, we are part of Virtual Gateway, which means it's the online system to do applications for food stamps and mass health for the state. This is what the DTA, Department of Transitional Assistance, that's their job to do that. But ABCD has taken that on. So now we're also helping the state to see less clients to handle their caseload because our staff are now trained to do that same system. So we're helping a lot of people. Same thing with the Earned Income Task Coalition. That's through the you know, through the mayor, but yet, yet again, most of those clients are being seen through our offices. So we're able to help a lot of people by providing services. And like Sharon said, one of the advantages of this is that we're comprehensive. A family can drop off their kid ne to, um, next door to the Head Start and then come and apply for fuel assistance or come take an English course or learn, in, you know, or, or, or become a U.S. citizen. And then we also have financial futures initiatives where people can learn to save money and look at their credit scores and build assets. All of that is in one, in one location, and that's what we don't want to lose. 